Jesus? I guess that's a silly question. Everyone seems to have heard of him. He does miracles everywhere he goes. He heals people. He makes the blind see, and he even... Oh, I'm sorry. I got so excited talking about my friend that I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Mary. I guess you could say, when I met Jesus, my life was a little warm. You see, I was living my life in sin, and it finally caught up with me. I was taken to Jesus to be judged. It was a trap. The law said that I should be stoned, but Jesus had just been talking about grace and forgiveness. They threw me in the dirt at his feet and asked what, what they should do with me. And he said I should be stoned, it would go against everything that he taught. But if he said I should be released, he'd be branded a lawbreaker. He simply started to write me down. And then, and then he looked up and said, those without sin, cast the first stone. That is what's so amazing about my friend. He forgave me. And not only did he forgive me, but he drove out the evil spirits that were controlling my life. It still gives me chills to remember that day. He totally changed me my life. And he can change yours too. If only you can meet him. In fact, Jesus and his disciples will soon be making their way to Jerusalem for Passover. If we hurry, we can catch up. So come on! Let's go! Let's go see Jesus! Come on! How are you doing today, sir? Good, how are you? Fine, thanks. It was really beautiful. <laughs> I could imagine like just seeing you like running around with the table and just chasing you. Thank you. 
Hi, how are you doing? Good, good. Hey, 
Cinnamon? Yeah. I love the house. Oh, it's nice. It's hard to differentiate the
Bravo! Necessary to remove the dirt from your feet. I know this seems strange to you, but if I'm willing to do such a humble task, such as wash the dirt from your feet, then you should be willing to do the same for each other and all men. I'm giving you an example. This blood would be shed for the forgiveness of the sins of every man, woman, and child in this world. And before I go, I can tell you one more thing. love each other. Love each other as I love each one of you. The world will know that you're my disciples if you love one another. For greater love has no man than to lay down his life for his friends. For even though I tell you this, one of you is about to betray me. Lord, who betray you? John. It's the one who dips his bread in the bowl with me. This would happen just as the scripture said it would happen. It would have been better if this man had never been born, for he is causing his own destruction. Surely not I, Lord. Yes, Judas. It is you. Whatever you're about to do, do it quickly. Judas! Even though Even though that you'll deny me three times. Even if I have to die for you, I will never leave you. <laughs> Oh, 
often visited this spot for meditation and prayer, but never with a heart so full of sorrow as upon this night of his last agony. At this moment, he seemed to be shut out of the light of God's sustaining presence. The guilt of fallen humanity he must bear. Upon him who knew no sin must be laid the iniquity of us all. So dreadful does sin appear to him, so great is the weight of sin he must bear, that he's tempted to fear that it will shut him forever out of his Father's love. Feeling how terrible is the wrath of God against transgression, every step that he now took was with labored effort. He groaned aloud as if suffering under the pressure of a terrible burden. Twice his companions supported him when he would have fallen to the ground. I am overwhelmed with sorrow. To the void of death. Stay here and pray with me. Suffering cannot be taken from me unless I drink it. Then not my will. But thine be done. Jesus, my Lord, must you suffer more for these people? <laughs> You are the Son of God, the creator of this world. Surely you know what's in the hearts of humans. You know that these people are full of pride, of grief, of lust, no. and hate. No. Jesus, look over here. 
Look, in your hour of greatest need, your three best friends can't even stay awake to help you. <laughs> and these are the ones you want to die for? Peter. Your life hasn't changed them, Jesus. What makes you think that your death will? Believe me, don't give your life for these people. They aren't worth it. How can you claim to love them so much but they continually hurt you and couldn't care less no. about you? They obviously don't love you, Jesus. And neither does your father. If he truly loved you, he wouldn't be allowing you to suffer like you are. Father, if this is the only way for us to save man, then not my will but thine. Save man? For what? Man, throughout all time, will deny that you are the Son of God. These people will be so preoccupied with the selfish pursuits of their own dreams and happiness that they will ignore by their own free choice that you gave them. They will reject your love and your death will be meaningless. Leave me. <laughs> and you are going to throw away your love and your life for these pathetic people. When has God ever wasted his love on anyone? They aren't worth the love of God, and they certainly aren't worth the very life of his son. Jesus, 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 my friend, you are wasting your love on them. Did he waste his love on you, Lucifer? <laughs> Please. Remove this suffering from me! But know that I am willing to do whatever you want me to do. Jesus. Jesus, my Lord. Look. Look at all these people that will be safe because of your suffering. You love them. You love them far too much to let them die, even though they deserve it. That's why I have come to assure you that your father is greater and more powerful than Satan. He sent me to comfort you because he loves you. He has commissioned me to give you his strength so you can complete this task through your love and sacrifice. Sin will be destroyed and the gift of salvation will be given to these people, your children. You will see a multitude of the human race Accept that gift and be safe. And then, Jesus, they will live in paradise with you forever.
Are you still sleeping? Get up. For it's time for the Son of Man to be betrayed into the hands of sinners. Judas, hurry. Here comes my betrayers now. Who are you looking for? We seek Jesus of Nazareth. I am he. You betray me with a kiss. That's a sign. Let's get him. No! Peter, no! Put your sword away. He that lives by the sword shall die by the sword. I could have asked my father for a legion of angels, and he would have sent them. But if I had done that, how have the scriptures been fulfilled that are happening right now? Am I some sort of criminal that you come with swords and spears? I was in the temple daily teaching and you didn't come for me then. But now in this dark hour where evil reigns, just as my father You're not going to trick us again, Jesus. Take us back to Pilate. Jewish trial to the home of the Roman governor, Pilate. Their plea for a death sentence for Rome couldn't wait until the morning. Justice needs to be done now. We bring this traitor Jesus to be tried for crimes he's committed against our Roman Empire. Where is Pilate? Wake him up. Bring him out. Come on, Pilate. Get up, Pilate. Get out of bed. Sanhedrin, with the prisoner, Jesus of Nazareth, here to see the Imperial Governor of Judea, His Royal Excellency, 
Pontius Pilate. Why have you brought this man here in the middle of the night? What is so important that you have to wake me up? Who is he? And why have you brought him? Well, why have you brought him? He shouldn't be here! He would not have brought this man before you if he were not a criminal. Yes. If you have already tried him and found him guilty, then why bring him to me? I beg your pardon, my lord. But we are not allowed to put anyone to death without your Roman approval. Death. What has this man done that I should sentence him to death? He, he sets himself up about Caesar. He, he claims to be a king of Jews. He is our king! About Caesar. Caesar. Are you the king of the Jews? He is our king! It is as you say. Is that all you're going to say to defend yourself? Have you heard the charges that your own people are bringing against you? Surely you've done something that makes them think that you are deserving of the death sentence. He's a blasphemer. We don't need that in this nation. Aren't anymore. you going to say anything? Are you a king as you have claimed to be? My kingdom is not hung <laughs> It's a spiritual one. My father sent me to speak the truth to all who would listen. To all who would listen and believe. True. What is true? I find nothing that this man has done wrong. Nevertheless, because of the charges that you have brought against him, I will have him beaten and then released. Are you deaf? Did you not hear what he just said? He admits his crime. He is a blasphemer! Don't release Jesus! Kill him! Jesus, kill him! 
Get rid of him. Killed you. But give us Barabbas. Give us Barabbas. We want Barabbas. in this Jesus. Nevertheless, true to my word, I have had him beaten. And I will now release him to you. Stop you crucify him. Stop having him. Behold the man. We are seeing him. I am innocent of his blood. Whatever helps you sleep better at night, Pilate. Do with him as you will. Oh, we Pilate, do something. Jesus. I'm sorry, there's nothing has done something. that I can do. Let his blood be on us and on our children. Son of God. Look at him. 
If he is the son of God, why doesn't he come down from there? Then we could believe him. He claims to be the king of the Jews. Kings have armies. Where's his army to save him now? Army is in heaven. If his army is really in heaven, why doesn't they save him? He's always talking about an almighty God. Tell me, would an almighty God really let his son be on the cross? If you're the Messiah, you say you are. Unjustified. Why don't you save yourself? <laughs> and us too. Don't you fear God? Do you see anyone out there crying for you? We are getting what we deserve. But this man, this man has done nothing. He's innocent. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Master. <laughs> I believe in you. <laughs> Please. Please remember me. <laughs> when you go and prepare your kingdom. <laughs> I tell you the truth today. You will be with me in paradise. No! Stop! No! No! Woman! John to be his son of my place. John, take my mother. Be the son of her. Enough! Enough! Get down to him! Did you hear that? Why have you forsaken me? Now he's calling for Elijah. <laughs> Don't attend to the king. Let his servant take care of him, Elijah. <coughs> oh, Father. <coughs> Into your hands. I commit my spirit it is finished. Were you there? 
I, my Lord. Oh, sometimes it causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Crucify my Lord. Were you there when they nailed him to the tree? Were you there when they nailed him to the tree? Oh, sometimes it causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there when they nailed him to the tree? there when the sun refused to shine? Were you there when the sun refused to shine? Oh, sometimes it comes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there when they nailed him to the tree? Were you there when they laid him in the tree? Were you there when they laid him in the tomb? Oh, sometimes it causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there when they laid them in the tomb? Were you there when he rose from the grave? Were you there when he rose from the grave? Tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there when he rose from the grave? Were you there when he rose from the grave?
must go now. Oh, just make a demon. Joseph. But you might have to sit down because you were blocking their view. You're a little too loud for me. I not be forgotten. Here, here's a shield. Okay. Could you speak this back?
the joy of the Lord. Cling, cling. Accept Jesus into your life today, and I know, I know you will be changed forever. I was. Jesus loved you. He loved you, and he died to pay the price for our sins. And he will return for us someday, very soon. If you would like to begin a new life with him, and be ready for the day that he returns, there are those outside that do more than 